If you're a trader that likes to scale in and out of your trades, this video is gonna be for you. Now, some of you guys may be using the Ninja Trader 8 platform as you are trading with one of the prop firms out there. And normally with the prop firms, you have two options. Normally it's either gonna be Trade of 8 or it's gonna be the Ninja Trader 8 brokerage. I know there are some other platforms, but those seem to be the most popular. And I wanna remind you guys, if you ever wanna take advantage of the best deal APAX has to offer, make sure you use the promo code Mike at checkout. That'll ensure you get the best deal. But let's talk about one of the problems that may arise. Now you may be familiar with what's called the ATM strategy. It stands for Active Trade Management. And if you're not familiar with that, no need to worry, I'll link you to that video at the end of this video. But essentially what an ATM does is, once we go ahead and we enter the market, let's say we, we want to buy the market there. What it does, is it gives us a stop and it gives us a target. Now we can move these around manually or we can grab ATM or we can make or create ATMs that have multiple targets and multiple stops. However, here's where the problem really comes in, especially for those traders that love to scale in the trades. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this out of the way. Now, let's see if price will continue to move. And I'm gonna draw a couple lines real quick and basically show you guys what the problem is that you may already be running into. Then I'm actually gonna show you guys also how we can go ahead and we can solve this problem. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm trading right now in market playback to demonstrate this i'm going to speed this video up just a bit all right so there we go we've had some price movement now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to click f7 just to show us where our entry price is our average entry price i'm also going to draw a line up here showing us where our take profit and where our stop loss order is note if i come up here and i simply hit buy market again notice our average price moved up but the same stops and targets are in the in place. So how do we scale this trade? Now there's two different ways in which we can actually scale this trade. So for this, I'm gonna hit play just a little bit just to get the market moving just a bit. Now we've moved up a bit. Now the first and the simplest way to scale out of the trade would be to simply come right over here. And if I hit sell market with that same ATM already selected, you'll see that as soon as I hit it, now we only have one stop and one target. However, you, that might not be what you wanna do. You might wanna go ahead and be able to have, you know, targets with certain limit prices out there. So how do we accomplish this? It's gonna be very simple. You wanna over here in this area, underneath chart trader, and let me go ahead and rewind real quick. If you don't know how to use chart trader, you can come right over here to this tab right here, and it says off, click on here you want chart trader hit turned on then on this right hand panel on the right hand side we want to right click we want to come down to properties now this is where it's going to be important the properties are probably already set to select active atm strategy on order submission what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to go down to where it says keep selected atm strategy template on order then we want to click apply Click OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to exit this trade real quick. So now let's go ahead and do that similar example. We're going to simply hit buy market. I'm going to move these targets out of the way. I'm going to move the stop down here. Now, one thing we'll do, we'll go ahead and draw a horizontal line across where our entry price is our stop loss and our take profit. And we're gonna see, does anything move? I'm simply gonna go ahead and hit play on this playhead. I'm gonna slow it down just a bit and let's see if the market you know, starts moving up here just a bit, which it should, cause I rewound things just a bit. All right, so now we can see the market is moving up. Now we're like, okay, I wanna go ahead and scale into this. I wanna go ahead and add to this trade. So what do we do? We hit buy market. Now notice we have a separate stop loss we have a separate take profit. So this is gonna be very, very important because now I can have limit orders where I wanna get out at different prices. Now, let's assume the market goes up just a bit more and we wanna add again, all right? Now we can manually group all of our stop losses together if we want. I mean, just put them all in the same area, but we can also, I can take a partial profit if the market makes it there. I can have another partial profit here and I can have my final runner target right above us. Now. You can see once the first target was hit, now we only have what? We only have two stop losses left. So it went ahead and it got rid of the ATM like it should. Let's see, can we go ahead and run up? We got another target off. So look, we only have one stop loss left. And at this point, we can manually drag the order and just go ahead and move it to right around break even. And let's see, do we come all the way up here and hit our target or does the market come right back down and basically stop us out for break even? And that's one of the ways that we can use NinjaTrader to essentially scale in and scale out of trades. Now, if you wanna learn some advanced techniques for the ATM strategies, watch this video right here.